But we are back with another video and today we are finding out, are skinny sauces worth buying? Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, I'm T. Almost forgot who I was. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new here, I'm T. And I'm Charlie. Didn't forget who I was. Great start <laughs> by me. <laughs> and together we are all things TNC. If you're not new here, thank you once again for joining us. It may look a little bit familiar. That's because we're back with part two of an old video, finding out if low calorie sauces are worth buying, particularly these ones from Skinny Food Co. We tested the bundle. I always forget the name of the it. The Essentials there Bundle. There we go, the tea comes in. The Essentials Bundle, which was five of their most popular sauces. Mm. And we're back and we're just testing six sauces that we like the look of. For anyone that hasn't watched the first video, we suggest it's always worth a watch. Yeah. So we will put a link up here somewhere for you guys to go and check that one out. Then come back and you'll get to see our next phase, part two. And for those that aren't willing to jump back to video one, <laughs> just to give you a rundown, <laughs> these sauces are low calorie sauces. So they're virtually zero calorie, fat free and also sugar free. Yes. For me, they're something that I've used regularly. They're a great diet hack for me, and I use them as a food swap, and I think food swaps are great. If you can find any foods that taste similar to the real thing, but for less mm. calories, then that is ideal. And that's exactly what I use these sauces for. Tea, as we've discussed before, isn't necessarily diet conscious in the same way, or macro calorie conscious in the same way, so for you, Tea's the one that you listen to just for a pure taste review <laughs> in this. I think that's fair to say, isn't it? Yeah. Normally with our videos, I'm the guy to listen to when you want the real opinion. Really? Yes, everyone knows. <laughs> well, we'll Come learn on. again. Come on, everyone knows. I look at it from um, a calorie alternative. So I'm naturally twi switched on to the idea of, oh, but it's lower calorie, so I'll probably score it a bit higher for that. Mm. Whereas you're literally gonna just taste. be taste and taste alone. You may remember from our last video, we have our trusty plate of chips. So before we start, for anyone that is curious, the general price for these Skinny Food Co. sauces, the low calorie sauces, generally, they got, on the website they say they're standard, they're £4.49 for, what is it, 425 millilitres? Yeah. Which is a little bit pricey for a sauce compared to, I guess, what you can find in the supermarket, but yeah. you're getting the zero Zero sugar, low sugar, low calorie, vegan, vegan, gluten-free, keto, <laughs> all those different great benefits. So you're getting a lot for it, but equally what I would say is on the website they always seem to have some sort of offer on. For most of these sauces you should probably be able to pick them up somewhere between £1.99 to £2.50, something like that. And I think that's probably how much we paid for most of these, somewhere between one forty-nine and probably £2.99. So I think it's definitely worth checking out the website, having a look at all the different flavours. They have so many. Yes, we've done one video before, and we're doing another video now, but we're still only making still a later. small, small <laughs> dent in the number of flavours that they have. So go and check that out, see what's on offer. Without further ado, we're gonna dive in to the taste test. We're gonna start on your left. Um, the first one we have is Peri Peri. We're rating all of them out of five afterwards, by the way. Always, yes, yeah, sorry. For anyone that's new to the channel, we always rate everything out of five. Sometimes we're known to give half stars, but we try to avoid that. I feel I'm gonna rate this one high. Don't wanna spoil it, but. You are that's spoiling, a bit, spoiling it, isn't he? That's a bit of me, <laughs> that's a bit of me. This should be good. We haven't smelled it or anything yet. You wanna smell the cup? No, that's not. <laughs> <smart. laughs> if you watch the first video, you'll get that reference. Otherwise, that probably makes yeah, no shake sense. It. I'm going to shake it on, I can tell from your eyes that I'm going to shake this. <laughs> Can't give it a shake, just a lot. It's pretty good. You haven't shaken it. <laughs> give it a little stir. Oh. It's, it's good, it's a good consistency. Yeah. I feel like you get more bought into the smell than I do. I feel like it sways your thought process more than me. Yeah. It smells peppery, doesn't it? I can smell the pepper in it, but that's not the main smell that's like in the way. <laughs> Ready? I think T's nervous about this. That's since you smell it, you look less keen. Don't let this. Well, she just did fool you. She doesn't <laughs> want to try this. I can tell. Cheers. Cheers. 
Now, I don't want to say it tastes of nothing, but I didn't get any flavour in that first one. Three, two, one, three. Actually, I was going to give it a two, but I wasn't sure. For me, and again, last time I'm going to mention it, the previous video, I scored everything very high, didn't I? So that's the lowest score I've given. Skinny and, food case so far. Yeah. Donuts are a different story. Fives all over the board. Yeah, but it's not donuts. <laughs> do you do donuts? <laughs> I'm actually checked. That's just a confused flavour. It's like peppery and tomato. It's almost like tomato, ketchup and pepper, but the flavours haven't blended for me. So I'm just not really a fan, to be honest. I just don't get it. I'm smiling because that's actually really good for Charlie. Like, I would have... What a backhanded compliment. No, I would have actually described it in exactly the same way. Well, that's... I was going to. That's good. For you. I don't, <laughs> I don't feel like the tomato and the, like you said, the fire part have meshed. Mm. Like I got the tomato taste and then I got like the fiery <laughs> spice. What T has done is she's done the flavour equivalent of when someone goes, that's funny for you. That's what you've done. Nice little backhand, <laughs> but it's fair. A lot of people would have watched videos before. I'm not the greatest with my palate and describing oh, things. You're just making me nervous. <laughs> I'll drop that down to a two. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I wouldn't buy that one again. I wouldn't wouldn't recommend number one. <laughs> Just putting it out there. I know it's a spoiler and you don't like us having spoilers, but not a fan, so yeah. shame. Next one. I need to just put something out there. T has never had brown sauce. He put that up there before I could put that of up there. Any form. For because, myself. Because it's crazy. <laughs> I think it's madness. How have you got to this point in life and never had brown sauce? Why do you need brown sauce when you have ketchup and you have barbecue and then you also have like vinegar and other stuff you can put on it? What does brown sauce do? And I know there are going to be people watching this that are just really offended by what you've just said. What do so you put anyone, brown sauce on? Bacon sandwich, sausage sandwich. That's, but that's Ketchup for Yeah, me. but there's a big hole. Barbecue yeah, sauce. but you seem to bump. Oh, that's oof. Oof. Rogue over Honey here. Barbecue. Have you missed out on the whole brown sauce ketchup debate that comes with bacon sandwiches and that sauce? I sauce? don't remember a time there was brown sauce in my family household ever. This is incredible. Ever. So I know some people will be very shocked and also offended by your statement of what you need brown sauce for. So anyone <laughs> that wants to help me sell the idea of brown sauce to tea, please add in the comments what you like about brown sauce, what you use it on, what tea is missing out on, please put it in there. I'm really pleased because we haven't got brown sauce in the house, so I'm really hoping this is good because... Yeah, the last one Charlie made me buy brown sauce, he said, oh, you know, someone will use it. It went out of date in the cupboard. No one used it for every year. <laughs> so this one will add... 90% <laughs> of the time, I have to have low calorie sauces and we didn't have a low calorie brown, so... Big hopes of this. Of all of the ones here right now, I've got a lot more. I can't even speak. I've got so much relying on this, so come on, please be good. I don't know why I'm always tempted to smell the glass and it hasn't got any sauce in it. Pressure's on. Don't let me down. I don't know, it's a little bit runny. Doesn't smell like brown sauce. <laughs> it smells pickled. Here we go. This is interesting. This isn't just someone trying skinny co brown sauce. This is tea trying brown sauce for the first time ever. <laughs> she's so keen she needs me to get going like she's desperate she knows she's been missing out <laughs> what's going on out there let's just get straight into the rain on this one three two one three three well that was a bit of delay <laughs> I'm just, you know, I was just all over the place to be honest. I couldn't even speak. I was completely behind you on track. In fact, I don't even want to give that a three. I'm giving that a two. That's I'll brown sauce. I like this. I like this because I like, um, what's that spread called? The one, Plowman's? Pickle, what's that? Pickle Lily or whatever. Pickle. What's in the fridge? Pickle. Branston Pickle. Yeah, Branston Pickle. I like the Branston Pickle spread. And to me, this tastes a bit, it has like a pickled onion flavor in it. But it also has a sweetness that I'm unsure about. So that's why I gave it a three because I like it, but I also don't like it at the same time. Do you know what that says to me? You will like brown sauce, 100%. I'm gonna get a standard, regular version of brown sauce. Maybe a Heinz, probably not. Isn't you've it got HP? Have, yeah, I was gonna say, you've gotta have HP. Yeah. So it's gotta be HP. We're gonna get HP sauce. You're going to try it. And I actually think you're really going to rate it. Not to over-egg this in any kind of way, but it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> so 
<laughs> I mean, I'm still going to use it. And I'll use it regularly until it's gone. Next one. We have garlic mayo. <laughs> I'm not too sure about this one. I think garlic mayo is probably a little bit more of you than it is me, but. Why, because it's got garlic in it. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. But also I'm not, I don't really like mayo, do I? Neither do I. Oh, How yeah. often do you see me put mayo on anything? Tea's salad cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm salad cream, the only. <laughs> Tea's a salad cream. cream. <laughs> We're gonna clip that. We're gonna clip that and that's gonna be, just, I'm just gonna put it on the loop all the time. Hi, I'm salad cream. <laughs> <laughs> I, the only and reason, I'm garlic mayo. <laughs> the only reason I use mayo is when I add it to tuna. Um, that's so interesting, isn't it? <laughs> woof, woof. Oh, that I don't know how I feel about that. It's not too runny. Oh, this is a weird. It, it looks from here. I don't know what it looks like on the camera, but it looks like milk. It's too thick to be milk, oh, yeah. but if you actually saw it, good consistency. I'm just very nervous about how garlicky this smells. If you've seen the first um, video, that to me smells a lot like garlic and herb. It does. I think this is actually has a stronger garlic smell yeah. than the garlic and herb, and I thought the garlic and herb was too garlicky. If anyone can keep up with the amount of garlic <laughs> that is being said right now. Let's just get straight in. I just kind of want to get past this one because I've not got high hopes. I'm going to pick a small chip. Yeah, but small chip means more sauce. Yeah, I know, which is why I changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go for it. Come on. Okay. Cheers. Three, two, one, three. One. one. Yeah. Wow. Let's start with you because that is, that's an extreme rating. What, what's, what's one about this? So I gave it a one because I can actually smell the garlic more than I can taste it. I actually can't taste the garlic at all. In terms of mayo, I... Maybe I just don't remember the taste of mayo, but I can't, I don't get mayo from that. It has a bit of a sweetness to it that's, that doesn't remind me of a garlic mayo. You're right. I liked it and scored it free because it doesn't taste like mayo. <laughs> you are right, it doesn't. And it's garlicky. I just think, again, maybe it was expectation. I really wasn't looking forward to it. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. When I think of a mayo, I want something that I can scoop. Mm. That to me is too runny. If you want some sort of low calorie garlic salad dressing, then this would be very good. But as garlic mayo- I wouldn't have it, I can personally. Agree. Mixed opinions there, so. Mm. And it's coming from the guy that doesn't eat many salads, so. <laughs> maybe don't listen to me, we shall see. His advice, throw it on your list. It's official, <laughs> salad dodger. <laughs> also, gotta be careful what I say, because we are a PG channel. A lot of people eat with their eyes, and I don't think this would look very good on a plate, so. To me, that looks more like milk than whatever it is you're thinking of, because I don't know. <laughs> Next! This is interesting, I didn't notice that. We're jumping from garlic mayo to tikka mayo. Tikka. Tikka mayo, this definitely needs a shake. That was just about to say. <laughs> this one looks a bit interesting. It genuinely does seem to be quite runny at first glance. That's what this is for. I'm curious to see how this compares to the chip shop curry that we had before, which was very good. I don't think it's comparable though, otherwise they would have put it like, what was the name of that one? Curry. Um, chip shop curry. Chip shop curry. But they would have put tikka mayo curry. I mean, so. That's Chip shop curry, so it would have been chip shop tikka. <laughs> no, because chip shop curry is a thing. Oh. <laughs> a bit like brown sauce is a thing. Chip shop curry flavour is a thing. Like curry sauce from a chip shop, it's a thing. Let's put this straight in the cup. See what we think. Did that oh. come out like liquid? It's runny, isn't it? I didn't hear any sound as well. It <laughs> is runny. <laughs> smell? What does it smell like? That wasn't an instruction. That <laughs> was more question. <laughs> it's, you're gonna, this has a funny smell. It's got curry with something. Like, smell it. I can't work it out, but that. Do you know what it has with it? Curry with mayo. <laughs> curry with mayo. Spot on then. To me, it's got an artificial smell. To me, that doesn't taste, taste. Oh, I hope it doesn't to taste To me, it anything. doesn't smell like tikka. I smell, uh, I smell. Oh, I'd say it smells more like the chip shop curry. I don't know why I'm always tempted to say curry chip shop. One of the things I expected when we started smelling all the sauces and trying them was, I thought they'd have an artificial flavor mm. and an artificial smell. For me, I think whenever I say there's a bit of a sweetness, I think that's what I mean. Um, artificial? Yeah, if you can see. That's true, actually. Yeah. Cheers. 
You gonna dip again? No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Three, two, one, one. Yeah, that's awful. Sorry, <laughs> that is not good. That's how I think a lot of people would expect the zero calorie or virtually zero calorie sauces to taste. I think it doesn't taste right is how I would describe it. Like, you know something's not quite right with that. I'm just more thinking, if I use this, what would I use it for? I wouldn't use it as a dressing. I wouldn't use it to dip anything because it would just run off. It's not even you that. You can't I, marinate anything I, in it. I wouldn't use it because I don't like the taste. Like, there's nothing that it would go well with for me because I just don't like the taste. It doesn't have a strong enough flavor. Let's move on to a, hopefully a better one. This one, I've got to have got this one right. This is a, not a standard. Staple is the word you're looking staple. for, but this isn't just a staple. I'd say this is the staple, right? Mm -hmm. Moment of truth. Oh. Another one for the sound people there. Consistency looks all right. It's a little bit off coloured. Yeah. Don't know what but it looks that's like. That's what I imagine if you made ketchup yourself. That's what it looks <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> if you made it yourself, it would have a lot of sugar in it. Yeah. See, if I was to pick my favourite ketchup, it would be one of those, you know that really cheap ketchup? I was just from, about like, to say, band? this smells to me like cheap ketchup, and it just means like, you know where it's got that strong vinegary? Yeah, you know, like, not like supermarket cheap ketchup. You know how mm. you go to like a burger van at like three in the morning, or you go to a burger van off a lay-by, and they've got that sauce you've never heard of, that kind of ketchup. That's my favorite kind of ketchup. I've not done that before. So for me, it would be like if you go to like Burger King or something like that and you get the sachets, because they always taste a bit funny. No? <laughs> Moving on. We are showing, <laughs> well, we're very different at the <laughs> That is a very, very upmarket idea of a cheap form of ketchup. Well, you're just going to the middle of nowhere and going to a random caravan. <laughs> okay, if you go to Lidl maybe and get like the cheapest ketchup. That's cheap ketchup is the best, that's my opinion. This smells good, I'm excited. You need, no, 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 no. You need more ketchup than that. Thank you very much. Cheers. Moment of truth. Obviously the most important source of them all. Mm. How have they done? Three, two, one, five. Two. Well, there you go. Do you know what? I think it's been so long since Charlie's had ketchup that he does remember what it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> Don't let her do me like that. That's not true. Like I said, I actually like the cheaper forms of ketchup. And this, to me, has that more vinegary taste that you get with a cheaper ketchup. So I rate that. I actually think that's very good. And I've given that a five and you're not swaying. I think you can smell the vinegar more than you can taste it. It tastes a lot sweeter than the standard ketchup. To me, cheap ketchup is more vinegary. And that's how I, I would prefer my ketchup if it isn't Heinz. It's sweet, I'll give you that. But that's kind of why I like it. No. You've just made your breakfast. Yeah. Nice fry up, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You know, bacon sandwich. Loaded with bacon, how we, how we know you like it. <laughs> <laughs> reference to, what video what was that? What we eat in a day. If anyone that hasn't seen that and doesn't get that reference, we'll put the link up here. And you'll get the reference if you go watch that video. But anyway, sitting there, you've buttered the bread, you've put your bacon on, You've realised there's no ketchup in the house, but be in our house. Charlie's got trust the old zero calorie tomato ketchup. What are you doing? Are you using it? And there's no other sauces. Let's just uh, say that's just you're not awesome. you're not grabbing the barbecue. <laughs> you're not grabbing your new favourite brown sauce. Mm. You've literally got this or nothing. What are you doing? Nothing. You, you said I could butter it, right? Yeah, but there's still no sauce. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Split Can opinion. Can I just get some ketchup for you? Please. I'm gonna get some ketchup and Charlie's gonna taste the standard. So I've just grabbed some Hellman's tomato ketchup. Niche brand, I've got to say. Who has, who has Hellman's ketchup? <laughs> Whatever's on offer these days. We, we do, clearly. <laughs> I'll give you that, you can see. The Hellman's ketchup, really bright red. It's more of a richness. This one is, like T says, it's like we've almost homemade it. Didn't think you'd see this on the video, did you? Breaking man dries ketchup. <laughs> I'm not even lying. I don't really like that after having that. And I'm not even making that up. You, you really, after having that, you think that tastes good? So you're having it a lot because you're not too sure. No, I'm staring it for you. Honestly, I'm actually surprised. And then try this one and go. What? That one. Oh, oh. <laughs> Genuinely, I think this ketchup is better than that. 
hundred percent. Maybe we've just discovered Hellman's can't do ketchup. Yeah. Maybe that's the bigger thing. <laughs> Anyone that has had Skinny Co ketchup, let us know in the comments who you agree with because we've literally gone one end of the spectrum mm. to the other and whenever that happens, generally I'm right, so we might as well just get the comments you know in what? now. I stopped nodding. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. This is a bonus sauce. Virtually zero nacho cheese. And this almost looks like custard to me. Yeah, <laughs> it does. I don't think I've really ever had liquid cheese very often, so it's, I'm not I sure what to expect. Isn't that more of an American thing? I think so. I don't think we well, have We've only ever had it in Vegas. <laughs> on nachos normally. Yeah. yeah. So, what are you thinking? You got high ups? I don't know. Cheese is always a... Mm. You look nervous to me. Honestly. It's like salad cream, actually. <laughs> Honestly, that looks like custard to me. It's oh, it shape. similar texture and consistency to custard. I wouldn't completely rule out that we <laughs> haven't just got custard here. Can I smell it? Yeah. I don't smell cheese yet. When you smell it the third time, you smell the, the cheese. Third time. The first time, it doesn't smell like cheese. The first time, it smells like something's gone a little bit off. Yeah, so <laughs> smell it a second and a third time, then you start getting essence of cheese. Yeah, it, to, to be fair, I think the these kind of cheese sauces, mm -hmm. they have that similar smell actually, which is a little yeah. bit of a strange smell, so it's not. It's more like it grows on you. Let's go straight for it. And let's all keep an eye on how much sauce T puts on her chip, because we're going to make sure you don't sort of try and get away on this one. I've got it on your finger, sorry. Well, that is a lot, I'm probably going to regret Why would you do that? Ready? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Chip in something else, please. So I think that one went well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Let's rate it first. Mm -hmm. Is it a scale of one to five? Well, that's what <laughs> literally I'm doing the same thing. What do we do? Do we do one to five or is it zero to five? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I think we do one to five. I'm pretty sure we do one to five. We'll quickly rewind back <laughs> and check and then come back to ourselves. But I'm pretty sure we do one to five. Three, two, two one, one, one. Yeah, that genuinely, if we did zeros, I would have given that a zero. I've never given anything a zero. Can I don't just, think I've given much a one. That, I'm sorry, Skinny Fuko, okay, but that is dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best word I can use to describe it. Well, that does not work. No way does that work. Do you know how I said it smelt a little bit off? Mm. It tasted like it was a little bit off. It tasted like... A little bit like sick. To me, that just tastes... Like, I can't even put my finger on what it tastes like. I don't know, but it's horrible. Like, when it... You know how your senses tell you what's going on? Like, my senses told me to run. Uh, I'll tell you <laughs> what, the brown sauce tasted a hell of a lot better afterwards. Yeah, which is why we were both scrambling for any sauce. I, we've done a lot of taste tests, and I've never had anything that bad. That's one of the worst things I've had in one of our taste tests. Yeah. And like I say, I've never even thought about giving anything a zero. So for me to want to score something a zero should show everyone just how bad that was. So no. we don't need to do which is the worst on this. I'll be very yeah. honest, I wouldn't recommend that one. In fact, I wouldn't recommend that one either. And I don't think you would, right? So are we giving our overall verdict? Yeah, I'm just pulling these to the side because I don't think, yeah. <laughs> Much better, much better. So let's give straight in. Tell me which one your favorite was. I could go first, but you know, I don't want to ruin the suspense. It's not quite clear which one my favorite was. I'm going to do something controversial. I'm going to change scores. Say I didn't like any of them enough to have a favorite. Wow. The first video I could pick out solid ones that I really liked. This second selection that we've got today None will stand out to me. Not even brown sauce, you gave that a three. Yeah, I wouldn't right. say it was my favorite. She shut me down there. I had yes. to pick one. <laughs> and don't ask me again. <laughs> I know what I like and what I don't like and I've said I don't like any of them. <laughs> None of them, I wouldn't recommend buying any of those to anyone, which is why I, I'm not saying favorite. Okay, interesting. For me, I really rate the tomato ketchup. I think we've tasted, what, 11 sauces now between the two videos, and this is 
the best one for me. I very rarely give fives, and that was a very comfortable five. And once you made me, just chicken. <laughs> once you made me taste the your ketchup, it made me like this more. Make you? She did. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of many of the others. So overall, you've gone. You flipped. When yeah. I ask you this question, this is going to be very different to video one. When we spoke on video one, you pretty much recommended them all, right? Yeah. And you will probably have them in your food. You pretty much As opposed to on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Licking them off the walls. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you'd pretty much recommend them all. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. I think I'm funny. <laughs> she gets, she's fine. This shows very much that everyone's going to have ones that work and ones that don't work. And it's not all of them work for everyone. Yeah. I think that's fair to say. I do think it's great that they offer over 40 different flavours on their low calorie sources. Yeah, and that, you get away with it then because you've turned around and gone, oh, I don't like these, but they're up to you. We know what you're going to say but let's hear it from you. Not based off the ones you've seen before, but the six you've seen today, would you buy these skinny sauces? No. No, okay. As a group overall, I'd still say yes, I'd buy them. By the way, the, the six. <laughs> would you buy a six? No, I, I definitely wouldn't buy six. That's clear. I wouldn't buy those two. <laughs> Put them back. I wouldn't buy that one. <laughs> There we go, they're still in shot. Wouldn't buy those three. I'd buy these three for sure. So a mixed review overall there, but as always, we're giving you our honest opinion and we're very interested to see what you guys think. If anyone is brave enough to try nacho cheese. <laughs> let uh, us know. Let us know, yeah. I'm very curious to see what other people think. I don't even want to smell it, I can smell it. <laughs> if you haven't checked it out yet, I know we mentioned it a lot in the video, but it's definitely worth checking out our other low calorie source video, which we will put a link in the description for you. And here, here we will link it, it's normally up here somewhere, for you guys to check that out. Definitely worth a watch. If you've gotten all the way to the end of our video, thank you so much for watching as always. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>